now we are going to prove the first property of expected value. That is, expected value is linear. So the expected value of AX plus BY plus C will be the A, we can take it out, the B, we can take it out, and then X and Y, we can take it separately, and C is a constant, we do nothing. We are going to look at how we prove this thing. We want to have the expected value of AX plus BY plus C. So this is our function F, F of X and Y, okay? Then we write down the definition. What's the definition of expected value under a function? It will be the function of the random variable multiply the corresponding probability over the whole sample space. So this is by definition. And then what's next? This equal sign is saying that we now write down the f explicitly as ax plus by plus c. Now we distribute the p into each of the terms. This gives us this term ax p x y. Distributing this to by gives us this term. And lastly, distributing pxy to c gives us this term. So now we are here. Well, the next thing is we distribute this summation sign into each of the term. So distributing the summation sign give us this, and we take the a out, okay, because we can take the a out. And distributing this give us the second term, and we move the b outside the summation sign. And lastly, we do the same for the last term, and also we move the c outside the summation sign. So we are at here. We rewrite the summation sign. This is a summation sign with two indices. We can split them into two summation signs split all the summation sign into two. And then for the last one, notice that this is x, y. This is also x, y. We can basically say that this is the sample space. And then what's next? What is this term? This is the probability over the whole sample space. By axiom of probability, the sum of all probability in a sample space is one. So this whole thing reduced to one. And one times c gives us c. So this is how we get the c. So now we are here with that this whole term, the summation is just one. Then what's next? This summation is x only. This summation is y. So we can move the x out of the summation on y because it has nothing to do on y. So we get this expression. And similarly, get this thing. So now we're at this now. The red part is basically what? I just rewrite the probability p, x, y using the original long notation. And then what is this? This red box is marginal probability. So we have this term. And similarly, for the blue line, I rewrite the p using the original long form. And what is this blue box? This blue box is the marginal probability of PY. So we have this blue part. So now we are at this line. And then I rewrite this back using PX and I rewrite this using PY. And I have this expression. And lastly, what is this? This is X times PX summation over X. This is expected value on X. Similarly, this is expected value of Y. So we have proved that the expected value of a linear function is just the linear function of the expected value. This proof is very, very long because I try to make sure everything is clear. In practice, you will not rewrite P, X, Y as the long form. So in practice, you don't do this, you don't do this, you will jump directly from here to here.